respected manufacturers of silence-focused PC cases like Be Quiet and Fractal Design typically use a number of tricks to keep the noise levels down. These are specially designed fans, thicker pads on the side panels for noise damping foam solutions, sealed front panels, and elaborately baffled vents. We tend to prefer high airflow to silence when given a choice, but that's the thing. This is normally presented as a choice between the two. We think with one solution you could achieve both. Before that, this video is brought to you by the EVGA Supernova G3 power supplies. Unlike other power supplies on the market that get easily tangled, the EVGA G3 power supplies are modular and use sleeved cables so the PCIe connectors won't get caught in your hair when building a system. The Supernova comes in several options including popular 650 watt and 750 watt units and is fully modular with a noise focused fan profile. Learn more at the link in the description below. So here's the interesting thesis with this one. The theory is if you have two systems, one that's more open, like this Redline 06 from Silverstone, and the one, one that's completely closed off, like the Silent Base 601, we think you could take the open case, slow down the fans, and then achieve equivalent noise performance while having superior thermal performance. So that is the thesis for today. What we're doing here is lowering fan speeds in a well-ventilated case and checking if it's as effective or more effective than closing off the entire box to try and trap, absorb, or otherwise deflect the noise depending on the different solution that the manufacturer may have chosen. In cases like the Silent Base 601, you typically see things like this. A side panel that's closed very tightly against the case, no window here, although there is an option, and then extremely thick foam. The foam is useful for things like high frequency noise. So the type of noise is something we're not testing here today. We're just looking at basically volume versus thermals. Either way though, this helps with high frequency noise because the idea is the sound wave hits the foam and then it just kind of bounces around until it breaks apart and doesn't really come out of the case in a way that's noticeable or as noticeable as it would otherwise. Another solution for noise is to deal with low frequencies by making thicker panels. An example would be perhaps in winds aluminum panels that are very thick because those help with the lower frequency longer wavelengths and preventing them from escaping and getting into the user. That might be the difference between, for example, a higher frequency coil wine from inductors or a higher frequency fan wine versus a lower frequency hum from large fans that are just spinning away. So those are two of the types of noise that you're dealing with with a silence focused case. And to their credit, Be Quiet has done an excellent job at making a quiet box. They've done that here. But a lot of that can be done just with good fans. Something we'll demonstrate here as well, where something like the RL06, although it's completely open in the front and has a totally different approach to things, it's using lower end fans, they run a bit faster, and so they're louder. More so than just having an open front uh, would otherwise allow. A lot of that noise is just because they're louder fans by nature. So a few of the tests we're doing then, we have the original tests from the reviews. We have the Silent Base 601 at 100% fan speed. We always test a 100% speed configuration as the stock. And that's, of course, fighting against the panels at this point. So 100% speed, that's about 36 dBA for the noise level measurement. We have the Silent Base 601 at fan controller level 1, which is their silence configuration at 32.8 dBA. And then we have the Redline 06 at 100% for 43 dBA. It's actually one of the loudest cases on our bench when configured that way, although it's also one of the coolest and it's highly affordable at that. So the new tests we're doing are the RL06 at 58% fan speed. We'll go over the RPMs in a moment. And that's with noise equalized to the SP601. So 58% fan speed on this thing, leaving the CPU and GPU fans fixed and untouched, allows for a 36 roughly dBA. So we're at equivalence here between those two configs, with this at 100%, this at about 58%, and the difference being the case at that point. We also did the Redline 06 at 36% front and 40% rear to equalize the SB601 at its level one quiet setting, or about 32.9-ish dBA. And the Redline 06 took the two Silent Wings fans for one other test, the 140 millimeters, and we uh, shoved those in there replacing the three stock Silverstone fans, which allowed for better silence because it had better fans in it. So for that, we equalized all fans to 55%, which resulted in the SB601 at about level one once again, 32.9 dBA. And then finally, the SB601 tested at 83% fan speed with the front panel removed. This is important because this is our test with the least variable. So what we've done here is we took the same case, this one, and we ran it with and without the front panel. We've already done that. But this time, what we did differently from the review is we dropped the fan speeds 
low enough that it is able to equate the same noise level as when that front panel is on. So the only difference is on versus off front panel. The noise level remains the same, but the fan RPM drops to reduce the noise level through a more mechanical form rather than something organic and native to the case. So that's what we're looking at today. Let's go through the numbers and see if we can get these two cases to equalize in noise and then see which one wins for thermals. In its original review, the RL06 was measured at 43 dBA with the fans running at 100%. It has three 120 millimeter front intake fans behind a mesh panel and a filter and one slower and therefore quieter rear exhaust fan. Meanwhile, the SB601 maxed out at 36 dBA or 32.8 with the integrated fan controller turned it down to the minimum speed. It comes with two Pure Wings to 140 millimeter fans. They are high end fans. One is intake behind a steel panel and a layer of foam and one is rear exhaust. That intake fan is positioned lower in the front panel and therefore benefits the GPU a bit more. The first objective of testing was to normalize for noise, so we matched the RL06 and SB601 noise levels at 20 inches to equate one another. This was done by decreasing case fan speeds to 58% on the Silverstone RL06, bringing it to 36.1 dBA. The Silent Base 601 also sits around 36 dBA, went at 100% fan speeds in its basically stock configuration. That's because of the noise damping foam and the thicker paneling. CPU temperatures were the RL06's strongest aspect in the original review, and they remained so even with reduced airflow. The RL06's baseline performance at maximum speed is about 48 degrees Celsius over ambient, which remains one of the best results on our later shown comparative chart. It's also pretty loud. It's at about 43 dBA or thereabouts. Choking the speeds to meet a 32.9 dBA noise level resulted in 61 degrees over ambient as the CPU torture temperature a significantly outperforming result when compared to the 73 degree result of the Be Quiet Silent Base 601's equivalent 32.8 dBA noise level. There's no contest here, but this still isn't a perfectly fair comparison. The 601 is using significantly better fans, primarily in that they're capable of lower noise levels at higher CFM. This is something for which Be Quiet gets credit, but to even it out, we transplanted those fans into the RL06. With the 601's fans in the RL06 and a 32.9 dBA noise level, the same as the Silent Base 601 on its silent setting, the RL06 ended up at 55 degrees over ambient. This is a massive lead over the equivalent 73 degree result, or noise equivalent anyway, and illustrates just how much the fans matter. These are the same fans the SB601 used, but in a more open case and spun down to a lower RPM for equivalent noise. The RL06 has the same perceived volume, but the cooling difference is one of being usable versus unusable for non-idle workloads. Matching the two cases instead to 36 dBA, the Silverstone RL06 ends up at 55 degrees over ambient, with the Silent Base 601 at about 63 degrees. In this instance, the Be Quiet front panel is more readily overcome by extra pressure of its intake fans, and so it fares better than at the quiet speed setting we saw earlier. There is a non-linear loss in performance as pressure is reduced against that panel. Here's the interesting part. If Be Quiet had a more open front panel, but instead reduced fan RPM to match its original noise level of 36 dBA, the performance climbs to 56 degrees over ambient. That's rough equivalence with the RL06 when using the stock Silverstone fans, and that rough equivalence illustrates the point that silence can be had with an airflow-oriented case while still achieving equivalent performance. Just for reference, here's a comparative chart with a lot of other cases on it. At 36 dBA, the RL06 with stock fans at 58% speeds ends up around the Define R6 and H500P original case. Not great, not great positioning at all, but it's at nearly half the fan speed, to be fair, from its 100% configuration. Not bad when given the quieter focus, and certainly better than the 601's near bottom result. It's doing better actually than a lot of the silence focused cases on this chart, despite being airflow focused and still very quiet in this configuration, or reasonably anyway. For GPU thermals, the RL06 at 1400 RPM establishes a clear baseline for maximum performance between these two cases. This one is at 47 degrees over ambient, followed most closely by the SB601 without a front panel. This is a switch up from the CPU charts where the RL06 dominated in all performance classes. The SB601 does better here as it has greater breathing room between the GPU and the case paneling, and also it only has one stock intake fan and that fan is pointed straight at the video card. Following this 50 degree result is the SB601 at its maximum speed, 
Putting the Be Quiet fans into the RL06 and setting them to 32.9 dBA improves temperatures to equate the stock RL06 fans at 36 dBA. Again, this highlights the huge advantage of a good fan. We're at the same performance level, but audibly lower noise levels. Humans tend to notice noise differences of approximately 3 dBA or greater, just for reference. That's not to mention, by the way, that the cheaper cost of something like the RL06 would allow for more budget to buy those good fans. The difference between the two quietest stock fan results is marginal, with the silent bass and RL06 roughly equal at the low end. For perspective, here's a comparative GPU chart. We'll highlight the RL06 and silent bass 601 results. The RL06 descends the chart rapidly as fan RPM is reduced, as airflow dynamics in the case tend to favor the CPU. This is further reinforced by the proximity of case paneling to the video card. The result then indicates that the thesis pretty much stands. You can definitely achieve the same acoustic performance as a high-end silence-focused case by using an airflow-focused case, and these are often cheaper because they use fewer materials and are definitely a lot more mainstream. So big difference there as well because if you're producing more volume, manufacturing volume that is, not noise volume, then it is cheaper to produce. That said, it takes more effort. You have to do more manual fan work. If you are okay with setting things like fan speed curves, then this might be a project that's worth doing for you. You can still achieve silence. You can at least achieve mostly the same level of quiet as this while still being in operable range. And that's a big deal here too, because technically, ultimately, this case could go quieter. If you had no case fans or something like that, and you're just dealing with component fans at 100%, the quiet focus case will have a lower floor. At some point though, you're fighting the noise floor of your room and you're also fighting the temperatures to a point of, it's questionable whether you can even operate at the higher temperatures you would be running at with a silence focus case. There's another difference here that we also didn't test, or actually two of them. One of them is open loop configurations. If you're going open loop, for the most part, your water can do a lot of the work. And of course, having a case like this versus the RL06, there will be a difference insofar as, yeah, this is the same thing. You could run the fans lower speed in a more open case, but also you can run the fans lower speed anyway because it's water, and at some point, really, it doesn't matter if you're at 50 degrees or 60 degrees. They're both good unless you're doing something like competitive overclocking. So once you're on liquid, or at least high-end liquid, open-loop liquid, really it doesn't matter quite as much because you're just you're way under thresholds for thermal uh, issues anyway. And then the other thing we didn't test or demonstrate is type of noise. So theoretically, and audibly, it's not really that different uh, to us, but theoretically, a case like the Silent Base 601 will have a less annoying type of noise because it's specifically targeting things like higher frequencies, and you've got open paneling everywhere here that the noise can get out. But the noise level is the same between the two when you normalize it. So you're just left with type of noise, and that's completely subjective. We'll leave that up to you to figure out. But uh, anyway, interesting experiment to do. It's not saying that these silence-focused cases are in any way worthless because they're, they're very high quality when they're done right. And they do an excellent job at dealing with noise without forcing the user to do a lot of tuning. Now that said, sticking higher on fans like the Be Quiet fans from this case, which are extremely good at what they do, into a case like this one does get you pretty darn close in noise out of the box with a little bit of extra tuning on top of that. So uh, just something for you to think about. We're not saying that it's better to go one way or the other because clearly both these cases have a reason to exist in the market. They both do what they do very well. It's just that one mode takes a bit more tuning than the other. And this silence focus case does still have some upsides that the airflow case doesn't have and vice versa. Same, uh, same goes for both of them. So something for you to think about. Subscribe for more as always. Go to patreon.com slash gamersnexus to help us out directly or store.gamersnexus.net to support us there with a purchase. And we'll see you all next time.